This is Martin Bronstein with Sarah Fitzgerald, who's just won the Weymouth Cup in Grand Central Station. Um, that was quite a performance. It was quite easy, though, wasn't it? Yeah, I was a little bit surprised at, um, you know, after the first game, it started out pretty uh, intense and Carol had a lead on me and she seemed to fall away a little bit and I, I got control and then took away uh, that game and then the rest of the match quite comfortably. Did you, were you surprised that it was that easy? I was actually because only two weeks ago we had quite a, a good battle, 70 minutes worth up at Hartford, Connecticut. and. Um, so I was well prepared for the fact that Carol was going to come at me at this tournament and um, luckily for me, you know, a combination of I thought I played quite well today and I guess maybe she wasn't quite ready to deal with the, the glass court and the whole situation that was ahead of her tonight. Oh, that's, so in Hartford it was on a plaster court, was it? Hartford was a plaster court and, um, you know, Carol really went after me in the first game up, up there and, and I didn't adjust to it and then I managed to turn the match around. Uh, the whole match was 70 minutes, it was quite a long, hard tussle. So I was well prepared for that down here again tonight, but um, luckily for me, it came through a little bit easier. Okay, I know I shouldn't be asking you to talk about the other player, but what was she doing right in Hartford to push you? In Hartford, she was trying to slow me down, uh, and I let her do that to me, which is, you know, lobbing, dropping, and just hitting the ball at a, you know, 70%. And it took me a little while to adjust to that and get my rhythm going. And, um, you know, I lost the first game, and at the beginning of the second, I upped the pace and I forced it. And that's where my strength is, is taking control. She was still trying to slow me down, but when I've picked up the rhythm, that's when I get into my rhythm and, uh, you know, things start to go my way. Anyway, congratulations on another fine performance. Uh, there was talk a couple of years back of uh, Sarah Fitzgerald retiring. But uh, from my point of view, it'd be stupid for you to retire now. You're at the top of the game and nobody can touch you. Yeah, I'm not quite ready to retire. Originally, I thought about retiring in Melbourne after the World Championship. But I missed uh, most of, well, all of 99, most of uh, 2000 uh, through injury. So it kind of put my plans out by literally one or two years. And I am back at uh, the top of the game. So yeah, I'd be silly to step out. I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm having success and I'm not quite ready. And would you say you are as fit as you've ever been? I think so. Um, one thing that I learned through my injury was how to do a lot more quality rather than quantity and I think I've just come back a lot smarter and I know myself as a person and a player a lot better and it makes quite a difference when it comes to being out there. Of course that sort of experience that you've got is, oh, I won't say how many years but that also helps you to to win it mentally it's it's a huge crutch isn't it absolutely and if i'm getting you know three love wins over my opponents of course that plays on their mind mentally and it makes me feel confident about my game and my fitness and and everything i guess and of course for them they know that they're the one that have to work they, they are the ones that have to work at how to beat me for me obviously i know they're coming at me I can stick to what I'm doing and if they do start to come at me and get closer then that's when I've got to readjust and reassess. One last question, how has your game changed say in the last two years? I think I just think a little bit better. In you know, Years ago I always used to play at a fast pace and I loved to volley but I think I was all a bit more crash boom bang and now I'm a lot more prepared to maybe just stay in the rally, use um, like on a glass court, use the situation of it's, it's a colder court and think about using height a little bit more, slow it up if I have to to get out of trouble rather than trying to hit my way out of trouble. And I'm prepared to use the front of the court a lot more than I ever used to be. You know, in the past, for me, a drop shot was always a winner, but I understand now a drop shot is, can also be a very good working shot. Sarah Fitzgerald, champion supreme. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you.